Greetings folks, welcome back to my channel. In the previous video, we have already taken out most of the cables as well as ancillaries. Apart from that, I have also taken off the engine from the scooter. And in today's video, we are going to carry out major modifications that are really required for the new cable to be properly placed on our scooter. So without wasting much time, let's begin the task. We'll be largely drilling holes and welding stuff on the scooter in today's video, which are really essential and something which you should not really skip. So let's continue. Right now we are welding the mount for the fuse box which used to happen on the electric start scooter which I have a scavenged from the same and later we will be drilling holes for various other components specifically CDI as well as the RR unit. So that's what it's all going to be about. For better retention, I am welding the HT plate mount on the lower side alone and not really on the top side as the top side might be visible outside the bonnet's periphery and that might look ugly. So that was the reason that I am just welding it on the lower side. That should be sufficient to retain it anyway. As you can see, we don't really have too many holes. Let me switch on the lamp. Uh, over here I have made a marking so I will be drilling a hole and then I will be getting a bolt welded on the other side. Likewise this has to go over here and we'll be drilling two holes one at this point and one at the lower point and then likewise we'll be having two bolts attached to the rear side the flasher will be located somewhere over here as well as uh, the cdi unit that has already got two places over here on which it can be mounted sorry on which it can be mounted these two places so that's not a thing of a trouble Let's begin. So we have the marking now. the three holes at the places where they are required let's keep the bit safely okay guys so now it's time for welding the bolts over here as you can see let me switch on the lamps okay so these three bolts are there and that's our welding kit
now that we have got the bolts welded as you can see we'll just clean it up now let's begin our favorite part that's painting okay folks so let it focus so i have uh, rubbed off the extra burnt paint which was uh, there as a result of welding and uh, the internal also has been cleaned now we have to prepare the paint and that will be doing and once that's done we'll paint the surface so let's get some white and some blue Now that we have the paint ready, let's get to the scooter. Almost there. Since it's inside, so prime goal is to make it rust free. Let's go outside now. We will paint these areas too. I prepared the paint. Let's see how the result is. Okay, I have not cleaned this surface, so let's me let me clean it. Let's go ahead now. So be it folks, with that the modification and the paint job is done. Stay tuned for more, till the next part, build it, ride it.